Hello everyone, this is James Coleman. I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. Today's video is an example to help explain the relationship between sampling level and time in Maxwell Render. And this is in response to a couple of inquiries I've received recently. SL and time are fundamental in Maxwell Render, so it's important that their purpose is made as clear as possible. First off, Maxwell Render is an unbiased render engine. That means that it renders the whole image incrementally until it is told to stop by the user. Visually, this can be seen as noise in the rendered image. Images start off full of noise and gradually get cleaner as they reach their higher sampling levels. The user tells the render engine to stop rendering by defining the maximum time the render is allowed to take, or by defining the maximum sampling level, or SL, that the image is allowed to reach. One of the most common errors I see when working with new students is that they think that by setting a high SL in the render options, it will make their image higher quality in the same time, but that's not how it works. Like any render engine, Maxwell will need extra time to get extra quality. It's good, but it's not magic. How long an image will take to reach higher SLs depends on a variety of factors, including polygon count, lighting and materials, etc. You can't make Maxwell reach higher SLs and give higher quality images in the same time without changing these factors. To highlight this point, I've made these four images of the same scene, two spheres, on a plane with an emitter behind providing lighting. On the left, the materials are basic diffuse materials, very easy to render. But on the right, the spheres have been assigned more difficult materials. The transparent sphere is acrylic from an IOR file, and the blue sphere is a rubber triple S material, subsurface scattering material. These difficult materials make the scene more difficult to render. The render options for the top images were set to time 5 minutes, sampling level 16. As you can see, despite sampling level being set to 16, neither image actually reached 16 because they didn't have enough time. Maxwell stopped after five minutes, as it was instructed to. But because the image on the right contains more difficult materials, in five minutes it reached a lower SL than the image on the left. The render options for the bottom images were set to time 9999 minutes and sampling level 16. So with these images, the render stopped when it reached the set SL of 16. Please note that it did not carry on for 9,999 minutes. And the image with difficult materials took longer to reach SL16 as we would expect. If we needed further proof that this scene is more difficult to render, we've got the benchmarks for each image. The benchmark is a number generated by Maxwell to show how easy or difficult a scene is to render. Low numbers are harder, higher, easier. The easy materials are both around 1,500 and the difficult materials are just above 650, showing that the difficult scene is over twice as difficult to render as the easy scene. And this is reflected in the time it took to reach SL16 compared to the easy scene over twice as long. In conclusion, when people ask me what's more important for a high quality image, time or sampling level, I say both. They are both intrinsically linked. Remember that sampling levels are an infinite scale and images always start at SL0 and have to reach the limit that you set and reaching the SL set in the render options takes time. That's all from me today, see you again soon. For more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.